the recording. All right. Okay. So, what things are you guys looking for here? Like, what what can I do to help? Basically, any questions or problems you want me to go over? Um, one of the th I, I don't remember whether this was before or after you told me about the pocket rock thing. But something I noticed that's like really problematic is when we go to mid, like the first mid fight, mm -hmm. what will happen is like no soldiers will bomb and we just sit there or our demo dies and like I don't know what to do. Or I go to like, I call a cliff push, or like I mean a cliff hold and then we get bombed because like walking through cliff like covers up a lot of sidelines. I don't know, I just feel like Every decision I make just ends up being like bad in that scenario. Okay. If that makes any sense. Yeah, definitely. I'll, uh, yeah. Does anyone have anyone else? Er, uh, does anyone else have anything they want me to look for as well? Okay, that's fine. I will just. Give general thoughts as well. Oh, that's them. Okay, this is you guys. Uh oh. Okay. Weber's not yeah. here. I'm like, hmm, what do we do now? So. Hmm. What's weird is I feel as though, okay, if you roll out main, like, he's just so hurt for some reason. Like, when I roll out a main, it's like, I usually have 140 or so, like, because in, in the spawn, like, in spawn, I'll get 260. Then the first jump to main is, like, 70, 60. So I have like 200 or so, 190, and then the the jump from main to here should be another 60 to 70, so it's like 130, like 120 to 140 or so, it like depends how much damage I take. Did I like buff him a little more after his first jump? Because I feel like I can't do that and also give both the soldiers enough of a buff. You basically, the, the rollout is like you tank the demo until the freeze time ends, usually that will give him exactly 260. It's like, you know what I mean by freeze time ending, right? Yeah. Okay, so then you would just have to, like, deal with the awkward scenario where you have, like, no time to heal your soldiers, and it's just how it is, basically. Okay. Um, and then... I, I guess ammo kind of takes priority. Yeah. I mean, that's basically the reason he's dying in some capacity is like since he's like if you're gonna continue rolling or like okay basically there's another alternative he can go to cliff and roll out slightly slower so like he can jump uh to the right side like get the pack at cliff and then like walk around or like walk up cliff and uh or like walk up here and he, he's slower, but, like, it's not a huge deal. And that way he comes, like, fully healed. Um, so, like, if you're not comfortable, like, tanking him immensely at the beginning and, like, this feels awkward to you, have, have Wobber roll out right, basically. So, that's, I guess, my opinion. And then at this point, since we lost him immediately... Should we just, like, back off and play more passively? Mm, I would just be looking... So, that would be, like, you. You should look to, like, not commit to anything. Because you don't want to die. But, like, your team probably wants to try to commit to... Uh, kill Medic or, like, do... Combat stuff. Like, if they can get a bunch of picks, it's still worth it. Like, if you guys sh should basically just all in for the Medic and just try to do what you can. Because they actually do take a lot of damage. They're all, like, relatively low. I think if you had scouts just, like, run in, you probably could have cleaned up to a pretty significant degree. Yeah, so anytime you lose something significant at the start of mid, whether it's, like, 
a medic or a demo or two of any other class, like everyone else, everyone besides your medic should be looking to salvage, to kill the med, to uh, like try to make it work at like a heavy cost, basically. Because like if you if you just give it up, you like kind of haven't really done anything. And it's not like it's important for the people to stay alive. But also if you, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Like, it's not important. Their lives, like, don't matter since people have already died. Like, you're going to lose the fight if you just walk away. So you might as well just all in, you know? So I have a question. Yeah. If at the beginning, like, let's say both teams are unable to get, like, good damage on each other. Like, our demo spamming, their demo spamming is, like, not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Should I just like call for a soldier bomb and just walk into them at that point? You can walk into them at that point, but I wouldn't call a soldier bomb. Basically, I would look to see... So like basically once the demo exchanging has happened, then it's like your turn as scouts to like look for something. And a lot of times at this level there there is something. So I'll have to see you when it's a mid that your demo doesn't die instantly. But... Usually, like, step one is demo stuff, step two is scout stuff, and step three is soldier stuff. That's kind of the order of operations, generally, on mids. I don't recommend playing on the left, by the way, but it's okay. Sad shack. <laughs> um, this is all good. You should just try to clean this guy up. If you can... Yes, okay, nice. So now they have... They they were actually building really well, so... And they force. This is good, you guys are playing this pretty correctly. You get the cap, nice. And you guys have. So this is just all very good. I have not seen anything I really... There have not been any real mistakes so far. Like the not going for the I salvages. Think the big mistake in this, I think the big mistake in this round came much later. <laughs> toward the end. This is good. You guys are just killing them, but you're probably going to get cleaned up as you back up. Eh, it's okay. That was very greedy of me. It's all... I mean... I think that's yeah, part I, I of playing. I to catch up. Yeah. I think you're definitely right. It is super greedy to try to do that uber into them in general. But especially to like chase. So it's just like... But it, it, it works. Like it works right now basically because... You can really get away with it for... Basically until you're an IM sort of. So I don't really think it's a big thing to focus on for now. So even if you have full add like you can't get away with it at high level? Uh, not like that, no. Why? Would they just juggle you, or like they would just yeah. have better positioning? Oh, yeah, they like... can. They can force you when it's just a. Uh... So basically, like for example, oh, like my Uber was ending, and we were deep in, and I only barely made it out of that. Well, what about like before that? Because I th okay, from what so, I understand, you're yeah. saying like they could just spam you out before you could even reach them. Yeah. So like right here, when you're you guys are walking up like this. Like, normally there's a soldier, like, here or over on the left and, like, up here. So soldiers are shooting at us. Usually their combo is not just going to stand right here and, like, die to the Uber. They're usually going to be, like, out of cliff or they're going to be on cliff. So they're all going to have high ground on us. And, like, so even if we do use, say, like, they, they really mess up somehow. Like, there's no universe where this happens where they're standing here. But even if they do... Like, they can just run away, basically, as soon as they see us. They, like, run away, or basically they can just dodge the Uber. And, one like, a single scout usually is not able to kill that much stuff and, like, make it actually worth it to use the Uber. Because then you're just giving them advantage, basically. For And you're not really getting anything out of it. There's, like, a lot of, I guess, stuff going on with that, but... That's like so a taste. So what would be like the better idea to do, so you can maintain the ad? So 
there's kind of two scenarios, basically. One is that they they commit their med too far. So like too far in my mind is kind of like past below China. If they're below China, I would try to like aggress and use the Uber into them aggressively. But to be honest, if they're not going to commit their med, you kind of just have to uh, like have your big classes sort of spam as they get in. Well, there's I guess there's more stuff going on here. Um, I don't figure that teams are often running very organized four-mans against you right now, so I'm not going to really worry about that. And basically, you should just like stand around the point, like have your big classes on high ground, you can get your soldier on their pride rock up here, you can get your scouts up on their rock, you can get your demo anywhere on point, and everyone has a lot of high ground here, so you should be looking to basically stand your ground against anyone who tries to come in. And like, if they just choose to wait, they're they're gonna get Uber. There's nothing you can really do other than that. Cause like you can't you can't really chase them into spawn. It's just not feasible. Uh huh. Does that all make sense? Like, I don't know if there's pieces that I'm leaving out that are important for you. Cause like I, I remember you were saying how uh, in the VOD mm -hmm. or the. Yeah, the, the map review. Or yeah. Whatever. You're like, one of the things you can do is get a demo to jump in, to trap behind them while this, both scouts, like, chase. Yes, exactly. This is this is true, but usually this is used uh, as a push or, like, a counter sort of initiate. But you can use on a demo right here, it, it, but it's the same thing. Like, if their med's not committed, you're not really able to get anything with it. And you don't usually want to use the uber to just secure a couple of kills like you want to either get the med or get three or more kills you know that's what you're looking to do with an uber mm -hmm. so unless they like really mess up with their positioning you should always just keep it to be defensive basically i mean like you're on the clock like they they have to do something about you guys basically and you you have the advantage like think about how this is the point is the highest area besides like cliff sort of so like they can't just like walk up because you have high ground here i mean they can but they'll get shot a lot as they walk up by soldiers and such so like occupying all this high ground is really good because they have to walk up into you and you can you have like this defender's high ground advantage, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you should basically just be looking to use this positioning to your advantage. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's kind of a big tangent, but perhaps, you know, good information. You guys just own them, to be honest. Oh, sad. <laughs> he left. He didn't even cab. <laughs> I mean, they kind of the they kind of can't. Also, if th if they do cap, then they accelerate your spawns. And now what they're looking to do is like fight you six v six, I think, or six v three. Sorry. Half their time, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's like they 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 actually made the correct play. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, I mean, you guys still have ads, so I try to get aggressive. But now it's dissipating. I'd still look to, like, use this Uber into them in exchange. Okay, that's okay. They use as well. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's kind of hard to save a lot of people there, but... Yeah, you should try to prioritize your demo, but I don't think that's a huge mistake. They're, you guys are still handily winning the fight. So what does an exchange on product look like? Because, like, for example, on process, you would just, like, if you go through one, you would just have the scout go in and everybody just delays for a little bit mm -hmm. so that they can't spam me out. But, like, product is super open. And, like, I don't know, everyone's close to each other, so how do you handle that? So let me give you... So pretend, like... Their their medic is playing like right, or like their combo is playing right here. 
So imagine I can like see, I can rotate my camera anyway. Where Where is the place from here that they can come from that you can't see them? And there's like two good answers here. Well, if there's somebody in connector, you can't see them. Oh, right, but they, they'd they have to be there prior. Like, I'm saying they're coming from spawn, you know? I mean, if if they're Cliff, Cliff, yeah, Cliff and Japan. Japan... Exactly. Those are the two correct answers. So, that's how Uber exchanges work, basically. You're looking to come either from Japan and not get spotted until you're very close and use right into them, or better is to generally just go cliff and use you pop right on a scout and then run right into them that's like the classic or for example you bomb your demo all the way usually you land on their china or their cliff as your demo and then chase with a scout same thing they have very little time to react to it and that's how you make the uber good in the same way as like a product or a process uber like same idea you're going through one you're trying to get into them really quickly, sort of. Or actually, that, that would be like lower lobby, for example, but, you know, same same idea. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the, that is just... Um... Did you guys have advantage here, actually? Sorry, I want to go back. Understandably so, or my died. Okay, so... I am... I'm a heavy advocate for, like, occupy the point. I'm a big not advocate of standing down here when you don't have to. Because, like, this is low ground, it's very susceptible to bombs, especially. So, yeah, you have 40 yet. Okay, that's what's happening. So, basically, I think you try to stay up here. And, like, the soldier comes in. But, like, all of your people, like, turn around and back up, basically. So, you should look to, like, stay on the point, basically. Oh, no. Oh. Very, <laughs> very tragic. Oh. Yeah, the uh-huh, yeah, the game didn't want to see me die. Where's my steam? Okay, here it is. A Froyo <clears throat> demo. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, we should demo review the, uh... Who beat Froyo in the... Oh, ASDF? Yeah, ASDF, of course his team. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're that hardly so a team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were on last, and, like, the clock ran out. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, it was 16,000 ticks. Okay, so... Alright, we get to watch the painful moment once again. Here he comes. And there he goes. Okay. Yeah. So now on to the next part. <laughs> I'm talking in game chat, interesting. Okay, but you guys are kind of mulching them. <laughs> nice. Oh, <Yeah>. nice. <laughs> just taking on the entire team by so I just Oh, yeah. Is that what the <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the, the pinnacle of you don't deserve to live. <laughs> this is why I say like such high like I have such high regards for your guys' team because I think you're you're all very good individually it seems, which is not the case for many teams. You guys are definitely somewhere between amateur and IM quality. You just have to like play together for a little while.
Yeah, this is just brutal. You guys just totally owned them. Let's see. Oh, they just did a lot of spam. It's okay. Okay, so there's still a minute. At this point in my head, I was thinking like immediately four man sack because we have a minute and we could just build and spawn. Exactly correct. That's completely perfect. Is that what you guys opt to do? It looks like it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is awesome. If I remember, yeah, if I remember, it didn't go well because you know. Cause I oh no, they got the force. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you got it. You got the force. Jack gets Nobody it. Nobody yeah. else. I mean, everybody else. I mean, it, it was still okay because like we have the faster spawns. Yeah, that uh -huh. that's normal, I'd say. And that guy died. Like this is. <laughs> he took it. I don't think any of that was really a mistake. I don't think. I mean, you kind of have to commit a lot of resources to get the Uber Force, but now you guys are in too fast. Wait, why did you guys decide to go in here? Um, I said to hold cliff, so I I don't know. I, I, was I, trying to, I was trying to. I was trying to. I think they just wanted to finesse them again. <laughs> <laughs> That's viral. But... And the funniest part is they almost did. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, I think this is this is basically the critical mistake. But I think it's still. I mean, the super should still be epic. And then just do a good job of like kiting you. Oh. Oh, we just didn't get on point. Yeah, okay. That's unfortunate. We, we just weren't playing together. I, I, yeah. I don't even think that's true necessarily. <laughs> I think it's just you had to stand on point, and I think you guys win that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of things that went wrong, but like very. Basically, it was like just it came down to the end like when you sack three people you didn't have to do that and then like all you had to do is stand on point and you guys 100 percent win so so still good good work oh yeah Weber rolls out cliff this time okay this is fine that's uh about as expected Oh my god. And this is this is nice. I think like your soldiers and your demo play around each other really well. Like that was a really well executed like, assassination of the mech. Yeah. <laughs> so half that mid fight I was just trying to jump on rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda hard if you just get spammed a lot. But in this situation, I would honestly be looking to like back up and give them the point and just get the Uber. So they do the, they do the old salvage thing and they get the better of you. That's usually why you why you do these salvages basically. But I would. That's like a classic situation where as soon as the med dies, like, you just go like, okay, we need to just back up. And like get all the way out, like run away and keep the high grounds basically. So if you can all get on top of cliff, you're like pretty much completely safe, because it's hard for them to aggress onto you here. So that's what I'd be looking to do in any sort of situation where you have, like, created ad but lost players. You know. Excuse me, Chris. Ugh. So, does that make sense? Like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I told him not to feed. Good, good. Yes, this is this is all good. Just getting the players ready to go. I'd be looking to just kind of fight this. You guys are playing like super passive, basically. Okay, now you get your pick. This is this is honestly okay. Yeah. How about another one? <laughs> another one. Yeah, now now you guys have what you want. I would just like make sure to play around your heels and like 
stay alive. Okay, so this is good. Everything went all according to plan. This is good, I like this. Holding aggressively, taking this rock. This is good. Ah, oh, really unfortunate. Yeah. That happens. That a lot to rollers. This is a salvage moment, right? Well, that, yeah, this is a salvage moment. Correctly identified it as well. And ownage. Confirmed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs> oh, you almost killed him too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, his scout saved him. This is fine. However, they do have the point, so... Okay. Yes, this is good. Everyone's kind of getting aggressive. The lob slob. <laughs> yeah, this guy is just lobbing and such. It's really. I mean, that was correct to like try to feed. Yeah, unfortunate. Just the pipes coming out. What's funny is that like stock pipes are actually like really good on this map. Because when you back out, the rollers will go all the way down the hill. <laughs> yeah, we'll and so out. you can get chased by the pipes. <laughs> oh yeah, that demo fed. <laughs> it's funny that you say that, because like I'm... hearkening back to a time when... when Iron Bomber wasn't even in the game. <laughs> like, uh -huh. <laughs> there's just no... No alternative. Except double donks. Moodies. No, the the or loose the cannon was, was really good. Lock and load was not as good back then. Besides doing a lot of damage, it was like really unreliable. Plus, okay, like, it's a good force. You don't really need the extra range on this map. Yeah. That's definitely true. You want the rollers. Oh, nice. You get the medic. So this is all just like sick. Now you just have to like fight the point. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> Pistol aim. I think it's okay. Still you guys are still this. yeah, still winning. Or like not losing, I should say. Losing yet. Okay, I am way too aggressive there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, I mean, they're not really doing anything. But now you guys should, like, really look to get set up on the point and not let them just walk into you. Okay, that's good. You kill that guy. You can trade. I, uh, it's unfortunate. just unfortunate. Yeah, basically you just lost the DM fight. Yeah, I think there were just a lot of situations where... It comes down to like... Basically Shells has to dodge the pipe. <laughs> or... Uh, I don't know, you guys have to like win the DM fight. So... That's not like a bad situation to be in. I mean, rounds like this happen. So I'm not so concerned. It's not like a huge problem. These sorts of, especially these sorts of intangible things like winning DM fights, like dodging spam and such, like comes with time spent playing the game. Okay. Soldier's in early, super aggressive. He gets cleaned up, nice.
Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Okay. Basically, like, what I'm thinking here is you guys backed up really far. <clears throat> and you kind of didn't need to, you know what I mean? Like, they're... You traded... Go to cliff. No, like, you don't even need to leave the, the mid-fight at all. Like, I'm kind of confused oh. why you guys left. It's like, you traded a soldier for a shack. So it's like an even trade. You might as well keep fighting. And then, like, everyone kind of backed up for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Like, did someone say, like, back up, if you remember, or... Because we, we were taking a lot of damage, and I just saw the two deaths on our team. And I just figured, like, they were taking the point really quickly. I don't know. Hmm. I just didn't think it was worth it. I think it's, it's like, a bigger mistake to kind of not see it out until the end, you know? Like... Mm -hmm. Because everything, like, TF2 is similar to chess, in a sense. Like, if any of you play chess at all. <laughs> or, like, I don't know. It, there's a lot of games like this that are, are very, like, give and take, where, like, <clears throat> even good things, like, mm, getting a med kill, like, have costs associated. Like, you have to commit your soldier to doing that. Like, he has to use health and ammo, shoot the medic, that sort of thing. So, like, especially in this situation, like, yeah, they, they killed Finn here, but they also, like, now their scouts are both under 40 HP. Like, easily one-shottable. You know what I mean? So, like, everything kind of has a give and take. Like, you might as well, until it's really obvious that it, it's not going to go well, which would be, like, two picks, three picks, like, that sort of thing, where... Where it's like very clear that you have no compensation for your time. If that makes sense, like that's when you should get out. Um, when it's like inevitable that you're gonna lose. But if it's not like super obvious that you're gonna lose this fight, then you should just like stay in basically. And like of course that's kind of complicated, like there's a lot of stuff to think about, but I would look to kind of in these sorts of situations err on the side of aggression because if you're more aggressive it gives like more opportunities for you to learn and like think about these sorts of things does that all make sense uh -huh. okay uh -huh. and just unfortunate actually i think if you didn't get hit by that sticky like you had a decent chance of cleaning this up entirely okay now is a get out situation this is like what i would mean by Oh gosh. Okay, that's really unfortunate. But yeah, I would be, uh... Like, that would be a situation where I would know, like, gosh, we we really have to get out of here. Because there's just no way that you're going to be able to win anything, like, with a demo and a medic alone sort of thing. But that's kind of, like, the general, like, line of reasoning that I have. This is good. It seems like you guys four manned and I wasn't really paying attention, but you did get the force. So this is good, like just playing on cliff. Building here is pretty safe. Sorry, my like, the camera on STV is so fast. I don't know why it zooms, zooms around. I have trouble like controlling it. So yeah, this is good. You're just gonna get the Uber. I would try to go into them as soon as you get it. Oh, come up sniper, okay. What was the reasoning for this? Was this like a... <laughs> I did not call that. Okay. What? Did, I, did I go on sniper? Oh, yeah. yo, I, I still think I beast, maybe. F Finn actually okay, wants this to is, DM the other team. This is still good. You guys, like, get into them and do the right thing. <clears throat> sniper is super BM on products. Sniper is, is, like, ridiculously good. I lost yeah. both of my matches this week to <clears throat> invite snipers, so. Well, Sni we had one scrim where I think the enemy team was relying too much on their sniper for one round, and 
Yeah, yeah they waited two minutes just for him to get a pick. <laughs> he had shot at me, and then they all pushed in even though they were at this ad. So I think he of... called out that he got the medic, even though it was just our scout. It was like a post Uber, and he got me, because, you know, that was when I wasn't hiding behind the rock. Mm -hmm. the, the main thing I don't like about this here is that, like, you used this Uber and you got what you wanted, but then, like, you didn't actually take the point, basically. So... Like, it takes you an extra, like, 20 seconds, basically. I mean, maybe they just... Oh, they get traumatic. Uh, it's a brutal. Mm. This is still... Alright. They're gonna have to get out here. Shaq is oh in. God, massive. <laughs> oh, good try. Nice, okay. But overkill? Oh, yeah, None. Two of them, yeah. You gotta make sure they're extra dead. <laughs> yeah, their guy changed his name like twice during the stream. <laughs> I don't know why. Interesting. Like Mexico, Neo, and then to, like the real Neo. Okay, that's BM. <laughs> Not actually, but. That's funny. Okay, this is... I mean, this is good. You're just kind of killing them. Yeah, this is kind of what I mean. Like, you just kind of defended your lands. This makes me happy to see. Building? Good. Shaq dying? Bad. Actually, yeah, there's- that's kind of the first thing that I think I'm gonna be critical of. It's like, this- this death is kind of really unnecessary, especially when you're on defense. Like, when you have the point, you really have to value your own life, because, like, obviously it takes you a really long time to respawn, versus their spawns are like 9 seconds. So, mm -hmm. even if you trade, it's disadvantageous to do that. So, like, you don't want to fight them at all, given the opportunity. I'm not sure if you're just getting health or what exactly, but. Oh, they're just fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bro, the lob slob. <laughs> yeah. I think since it's become. Or, like, since it seems like it's happened a couple more times than, like, coincidence, shall I would be, like, looking to, like, keep your eyes up, basically, and, like, watch for the spam and dodge. If you're having a lot of trouble, it's like, you generally can't afford to play so passive that you're not in a spam, like, line, normally. Um, cause like, if you back up to behind cliff, I guess you can play behind cliff, and it's okay, but especially when you're supposed to be sort of defending the cap, it's like, you're, you're giving up a lot of territory. So you want to be on point, and then just, like, looking up. So, like, for example, when I'm playing medic, I am usually somewhere around like here, and I'm literally going like this. Like I do not care about anything that is like related to the ground. I'm just looking up basically the entire time when I'm not healing people. It's like click on someone to heal them, look up. Like look for the pipes, look for bombers, look for scouts, like trying to do funny stuff. So. I guess that's that's something you can focus on going forward. Okay, they used your aggression, but this round looks to be over. Oh, nice. Okay, at least... Yes! Okay. I respect this heavily. Even though it's still probably lost, like... I'm glad you guys are fighting, still. But yeah, they're just gonna be able to push in with... heals and such. Uh, no, you keep holding! Okay! Alright. 
Sometimes you just kill them. Jeez, and you guys have ads. So this is winnable, actually. I, I see this. There's like no... I mean, honestly, like, you guys just kind of win the round now. They Their med died. This is... This has gone from being over for you guys to being over for them. Oh my gosh. It's good. Same same thing, I guess. Like this is kind of too aggressive, I guess. Like just value your own life, but it's all right. You could literally just solo on point here, so they can't cap, but they they don't even get close. Nice, nice comeback. That was really awesome. Uh -huh. They wanted the shack pick. <laughs> Sometimes beast. Definitely always beast. This is all good. So they do the same thing, they just get that soldier aggressive and he still does nothing. Shell got piped. I was like, how did she take a hundred? Just waiting for the pack, but it's it's okay, like this is all good. I mean obviously it turns out I think the patience Patience is often a virtue in this game. I mean I mean I I, I mean I just went in and killed the bed. Bro, yeah. if they used iron bomber, they would not be winning as many mid fights. <laughs> Like, should Wilbur consider switching the stock for this map? No. Iron Bomber is strictly an upgrade. I mean, like, it's only three degrees better. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, people say its hitbox is bigger, but it's, like, super small, the difference. I think it's, like, five hammer unit radius. Which is appreciable. But also the... I think the it's important like the rollers are the best part. Yeah, the that they just like stay where you shoot them is is good. Plus being larger. I mean, also it sounds cooler. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's that does sound like basketball. Oh yeah, especially just the like stuff sticking and also it being slightly larger just makes it better. Like even if it's only five units, like it still sometimes has situations where a pipe hits that. Or like an iron bomber hits that a uh, regular pipe one. Nice, this is all good. So where should flank scout be on like a point hold, like where I'm sitting on rock? I like this, like playing all around flank and like on this box and stuff. You can play kind of anywhere. Mm -hmm. As long as, like, I like this basically. I thought they had add, honestly. <laughs> No, you guys that's killed their was, medic a little bit ago. But we had a hundred add, and I didn't well, even realize. This is, I mean, still this is right. I mean, you guys should basically just be, like, occupying the space, not letting them do anything funny for free. Oh yeah, that's where at least the mic You mean like that? <laughs> yeah, no, this is not ideal. Hmm. Oh, sad. I think that pipe hit. <laughs> no, no. Instead, <laughs> just splashed you. Yeah, that's, that's ninety percent. We're just unfortunate. Is this a good all-in, though? You get the force, so it's it's even now. 
Okay, let's. Uh... At this point, since this is like only 30 seconds, could we just dry push him? Yes, that's what I would recommend. Definitely, dry pushing is probably the ideal situation. I mean, even losing people here, like they're gonna spawn so fast, and you can still go. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he ate so much damage back. Yeah, it's still still not too late to go. I would still go if I were you guys here. Yeah, I called a sack, but I honestly think we could have just dry pushed it together. Yeah, they have so much more time. <clears throat> yeah, the sack is not ideal because you're not really getting any like yeah. you're not actually gonna get anything for this, basically. You're you're the the best case is that you trade, essentially, but you're like Wasting a lot of time when you could just kind of fight and have better odds. And they yeah, don't even have it. A lot of space. Well, that's like the <laughs> the silliest yeah, part. I lost that. <laughs> The silliest part about all of this is if you had just fought straight up, like, they didn't have Uber. You could have just killed them. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 no, you actually didn't have ad. They just built really poorly. And you guys yeah. built. They I weren't building at all. Yeah. Honestly, I've seen that so much at this point that I would really recommend, like, no, no, you should just call, like, solo Ubers on yourself. Usually we do, we do this a lot. Uh, they're just called like basically I would say like we're gonna uber check and You like go in and you solo you and you just like shoot the medic and they either uses or dies and That's what you're looking to do. So like you would literally do this exact play where you like walk from cliff You just pop like try to run into the med and kill them And that's like the most ideal scenario basically but you guys get the point here anyway, so I could see you guys definitely winning this round. Simply off this, because your spawners are coming. Yeah, your Uber is just really nice. It's just way better than theirs. And the frags are coming. Yeah, really nice. Hmm. Okay, let's... Oop. Okay. This is good. I like the goodness. I mean, you don't have- you have now. Okay, now you just own. Okay, that's awesome. This is great. I mean, that was scrappy, but you guys definitely, like, just pulled it together. So that was good. Should have been writing stuff down, because honestly, I he got him! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Bro, and he was running away with the escape plan. <laughs> so wow, that was so close. Yeah, it was so close.
Mm. I respect this decision to back up, I guess. You can just use back in. But let's see. I figure there will be... Oh no, you guys are... Get in there! Go, 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 go! Nah! I got baited by Viral! <laughs> It's okay. You guys still get clean to, up yeah. and do stuff, but they're obvious they're gonna have the Uber now. Oh shoot, he gets piped. Okay, this is kind of bad. I wouldn't. Actually, I would cap this. I guess and just get out. Oh no, this guy's dying. Okay. The only thing is they just have Uber right now. Oh my God, they're just. You're just brutalizing them. Goodness gracious. is a really good team. Okay, you guys have ad. Do you, do you guys know, remember if you know that it's ad or not? Yeah, well, we forced them ad. Yeah, so you you know. Okay, perfect. You get another pick. Ah, uh, what trade? Hmm. It's just so yeah, passive. I, I just wanted to keep the ad. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, if you do the same thing again, it's just uh, another win. So, like, yeah, just. Oh no. Not too bad. Yeah. I, I was too aggressive. I think I should just like back up. You just kind of need help in that sort of situation. Now this is this is quite bad. They actually did good because they made that adjustment to try to mess with you while you do that. <laughs> and he gets the force. <laughs> Honage. I just saw well, Oh my god. wasn't even looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Apes fear the presence. I'm also still behind them, but I die here shortly. Yeah. Okay, I'll just wait and regroup. Honestly, it's gonna be even and try to take this an even like fight. Really good. This doesn't seem like a bad team. It seems like they have some people who can definitely frag. This was. But this, this is was, the team that your team. This was Borger, right? Yeah. yeah. Borger versus Hot Dog. Oh wait, whose team is this? Is this um? Wait. Borger, but is this uh i don't know who's so it's another uh it's one of the team drive teams i think you, you mentioned your teammate was coaching them but i don't know which one is the borger no we lost we lost them uh-huh yeah we lose this <laughs> no no it's hey, okay we also we round oh i also killed the magic gun so oh that's lovely Ah, oh, he fell. Oh, okay, that was really nice. Cool. All right, let's see. Hopefully, you guys can hold this. You should just build, get the Uber, and then try to uh, hold, stand your ground, basically. Yeah, I think. Well, okay. Let's see. That is just unfortunate. I want to say unfortunate, but it was kind of like you were asking for a check. Yeah. <laughs> but to get sniped from concrete, though? Yeah, I mean, he, he was up in their face. He was saying, like, come get me, and then, like, backed up and got shot. Oh, that's why I think almost killed their med again. And they laid the med, so that's part of it. Okay, so you guys are still... Oh yeah, my goodness. Uh-huh, yeah, we were playing sloppily. I think we still salvaged that, but uh, they push in with kills later on. Well, now they, they have time to get the Uber. Mm. In theory. Mission 
And they're really close. They're they're cutting it super close. I don't think they're gonna have by the time it's zero. I don't even know how okay, I. Okay, now they definitely won't them. have. <laughs> I think I surfed a rocket. You guys just gotta link up. Just link up. Oh. I was just, it was just an MG. And and you beef, yeah. It was a very, it was a very close game. Yeah, this yeah, definitely. Close. So, my kind of summary is like, I think you guys should try to coordinate your aggression more across the board. Like, when your team is in like hold the point mode, everyone should be at the point. Like, no one should be like in there, up in their grill or anything. And then, like, mm -hmm. you should make sure, like, no one's sacking at times they shouldn't be. Like, everyone should be going in at the same time. That should be your objective. And then, beyond that, um, I want you guys to take more aggressive Ubers on No No, definitely. And, like, maybe you can get viral in there as well. Or, like, whoever your flank scout is, who you're ringing this week. But like you can look to, yeah, take take aggressive exchanges and try to do stuff off that because I think no bad can come from, like Ubers with your players. And then, mm, yeah, what else did I talk about? Um, I feel like those are like the big things. Like if you change those, then you kind of instantly win. And then, I don't know, I guess she'll just look to dr dodge, uh, dodge pipes, like, look for, look for the threats. And then, uh, like, as long as all of that is cleaned up, I think you guys just, like, crush this team. So, I think it's just insta 3-0. Honestly. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions or, like, thoughts? Anything? Hi, Kyle. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm going to stop the recording.